Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have an important question for you. Do you ever find that when you're trying to manifest something, you have a desire, you have something you want, that you get caught up on the how? How is this going to happen? Maybe you want to be in a loving relationship. Maybe you want to get really good at a skill, play a sport, pass a test, pass an exam, graduate from a really hard program, become a millionaire, be successful in business, have better health, nicer hair, clearer skin, get taller, whatever it may be. That one question is actually slowing you down and I'm going to talk to you about what you can do instead why you should focus on trusting that it will all come together, that if you nail your scene, you nail your end, and you trust and have faith in that, that it will come to pass. That is it. So here are some Neville Goddard quotes that I typed up for you, which inspired this video. Disregard appearances, conditions, in fact, all evidence of your senses that deny the fulfillment of your desire. Rest in the assumption that you are already what you want to be. For in that determined assumption, you and your infinite being are merged in creative unity. And with your infinite being, God, all things are possible. Remember, God is your own wonderful human imagination. It's within you. It's not some big guy in the clouds. It's not something out there. It is your I am. Who do you claim for yourself to be? Do not ask me how it will be done. The ways are infinite. I do not know how it will be done I only know that it will be done. So one important point here, I have several and I typed up for you, is to focus on what you want, not on how you can have what you want. So here's the thing to know. When you want something, you don't need to figure out every single step that will get you there to not get caught up in the middle, trying to micromanage and figure it all out. All you really need to focus on is what you want, nail your wish fulfilled, and believe that it can happen. It did happen. It's just catching up in the 3D world. Think about planting a seed. When you put a seed in the ground, you don't sit there worrying about how it's going to grow roots, sprout, or bloom. You just water it, give it sunlight, and trust that it will grow. The same idea works when you have a goal. Focus on what you want and believe it's possible. Then let things unfold accordingly. For example, maybe you want to learn how to play an instrument or become really good at a sport. Don't worry about every little step, like how will I find time to practice? Or how will I get better? Just keep your goal in mind, your desires. Keep practicing and trust that the path will appear and it will unfold accordingly. Point two, the how isn't your job. Neville Goddard, this really cool teacher that talked about manifesting, has said that it's not your job to figure out how things will happen. Like I said in the quotes shared above, he says, life has a way of making things work out that you couldn't even predict. Think of it like this. Maybe you're working really hard for something. And instead of worrying about how you will reach your goal, you just focus on believing that it's possible. That little shift will change things. Life will often bring you opportunities or surprises you couldn't have planned for. And they're all synchronicities, all in alignment with your desires. And let's say 
you're trying to improve your grades. Instead of stressing about all the little details of how you'll study or what notes to take, just focus on seeing yourself as someone who has already got it. You're gold, you're an excellent student, you are nailing it and trust that. You might found, find out about a great study group or get tips that will help you out without even planning for it. It just kind of falls into place. Maybe you don't even have to do anything and you just nail it. Some people just go write exams and tests, trusting they will get it done and they, they get it done. I'm enjoying this lovely tea. So point number three, trust the process. When you stop worrying about how everything will happen, you allow life to surprise you in some pretty awesome ways. The truth is, if you knew every single thing that was going to happen all the time, wouldn't that kind of get a little boring and predictable? When you trust that things will work out, life can show you shortcuts and unexpected, delightful opportunities. Maybe you're trying to make a new friend. Instead of stressing over how it will happen, just imagine what it would feel like to already have that great friend or great friends. You might meet them in a place or a situation that you didn't even expect. Isn't that wonderful? So don't get caught up or stuck on the details. Life has a way of figuring out the how, and your job is to focus on what you want and trust that it's on its way because creation is finished. So let's wrap this up, guys. Stop stressing about the how. Focus on what you want and trust the process and let the magic happen and let it take care of itself in the most organic and beautiful way. Whether you're trying to get better at something, make a new friend, find that lover, have that job, that successful business, whatever it is, your job is to believe in it and let the steps unfold naturally. So remember, 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 it's not about how. What do you want? what implies you have it and relax and trust the process. So I hope this helped you. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on how to create the life that you want and manifest all those yummy, yummy things. I'll see you next time.